What's up guys, Mikkel here, and in this video, we are going to be covering a very popular topic, which is exit strategies. Guys, I get questions all the time on this channel. Mikkel, what is your exit strategy? What's a good exit strategy? What prices are you pulling out of XRP at? What are you doing with your XRP when it appreciates? Guys, in this video, I hope to cover a lot of those questions and really give you guys a new view on what I see as a exit strategy. Guys, I see so many people putting out the same exit strategy about getting out at this price and in this price, this laddered approach, because I want to talk about what I believe is actually the correct approach in approaching this market. And it's something that I don't see almost anyone talking about. Like always, your support means so much to this channel. Guys, thank you to everyone who takes the time to like the videos and subscribe to the channel. These two things really do help me out so much. Also, if you ever need a place to buy some XRP, make sure to check out my favorite exchange up hold down in the description of this video. But that said, though, let's jump right into it. And I hope you guys enjoy the content. Right, guys, this is one of those videos I'm going to have to start with with a disclaimer. I am not your financial advisor. I am a financial advisor, but not your financial advisor. So none of this is financial advice. None of this is tax advice. This is all for entertainment. So with that out of the way, I want to talk about something I believe is a topic that gets talked about a lot in the XRP community, but not in the ways I think people should be talking about it. I'm sure you guys have seen all over X people saying, I'm taking profits at this price, then this price, and then this price, and then boom, I'm done. I'm all out of XRP. And guys, while that strategy might work for some people, and when I say some people, that's the reason why I can't give financial advice. Every person's situation is different. That strategy might work great for some people, but it's not ultimately the strategy that I think is going to be the best as we move later into this asset class. What do I mean by that? Well, the richest people in the entire world didn't get rich from day trading. They didn't get rich from flipping stocks. They didn't get rich from getting in and out of markets. Instead, what you see is most of the richest people on earth accumulate their wealth in assets and then use those assets to generate more wealth. Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon, right? His strategy wasn't to get a whole bunch of Amazon stock, flip it, get out of Amazon, start the next thing. No, he used his assets. He still uses his assets on a daily basis to generate more income. And he never actually sells those assets. Why doesn't he sell them? Well, if he sells them, that's a taxable event. And he ultimately just decreases his own wealth. Guys, in this video, I hope to show you that a lot of the exit strategies you see floating around right now are not the kind of strategies that the richest people on earth use. And if we do have an event where a lot of us accumulate a lot more wealth going into the future, I think it's important that we implement the strategies of the most savvy business professionals out there. Now, guys, with all that said, I just want to do a quick announcement. Guys, I'm actually going to be working with clients in the XRP community to do this. Now, it's going to involve a completely different relationship from this channel. It's going to be a separate and we would love to work with people to help implement these things so you guys don't have to. A lot of this stuff is going to be very complex. It's going to involve partners that are trusted, vetted and know these strategies like the back of their hand. And we're going to be working with people to walk them through the process. So the things we talk about in this video can be done for you in an easy way rather than you having to go implement these things themselves. I want to start off with just this quick video right here because I think it's going to really open your eyes to kind of the basics of what we're talking about here and just help you wrap your head around why the richest people on earth don't liquidate all their assets, why the richest people on earth instead use their assets to generate more income. And this is just going to be a quick breakdown to give you a taste of what we're talking about. Hey, Jeff Bezos, you make $8 million an hour, but you pay $0 in taxes. What the fuck? Well, I don't make any money. What? Yeah, okay, look, the $8 million you're talking about isn't my income. That's an increase of the Amazon shares I own. Yeah, but you still made a profit. You got to pay taxes on that. Nope. As long as I don't sell my stocks, I don't have to pay anything. Well, you're going to have to sell it eventually. How are you going to get money then? Whenever I need money, I go to the bank and I take out a huge loan. And since debt is tax free, I don't have to pay anything. No taxes on that. Well, how are you going to pay off that loan then? I'll take it out an even larger loan to pay off the previous loan. And how are you going to pay the bigger loan then? I'll take out a loan even larger than that one. You're the same thing. Wait, you're going to keep doing that? Till when? Until I die. So you won't ever pay taxes in your entire life. How do the banks allow this if they know you're going to keep taking out loans? Well, the banks get their interest paid back from the loans, and I get to save billions in taxes. So it's really a win-win situation. <laughs> 
So guys, that might sound crazy in what they're talking about, but that's exactly what happens. That's what the richest people in the world do. So they don't pay income taxes so that they can keep building their wealth without actually having to sell assets. And it's something that's completely ignored in the XRP community. People just simply are not telling you about stuff like this because I believe a lot of the people in the XRP community are geniuses when it comes to understanding the tech, but they're yet to really implement the tools of the traditional financial system to their digital assets to make sure they can actually preserve their wealth. Guys, imagine if you cashed out all your XRP at $5 and that was your exit strategy. What would happen if XRP then later down the road went to $100, $500 or something like that? You would essentially be priced out of all your XRP. It would all be liquidated. And while you created that short term event where you had a massive influx in capital, a lot of that's going to go right to the government because you're selling it all and all your assets are going to be gone. So the strategies we're looking to implement are strategies where you can generate income to improve your lifestyle, pay off your debt do things that you want to do, whether that's not work or put resources into another business without actually selling your asset. So that way, later down the road, if your asset continues to appreciate, you still have access to that asset and you can actually keep taking out more money against that asset and keep improving your lifestyle. Guys, these are not things that we're just making up out of thin air. These are things that the richest people on earth do on a routine basis. And the reason they do it is because it is the most efficient way to grow your wealth. Guys, these are the kinds of strategies we want to bring to the XRP community. Because at the end of the day, a lot of us, I believe, understand we are investing in a brand new asset class that has the potential to completely revolutionize the financial system. It's one of the few times in history we were able to beat the big institutions in. We were able to get positions before these institutions really started pumping the price up. And if that creates a large amount of wealth for a large portion of people in this community, we want to make sure they can hang on to this wealth and actually implement the strategies that the most successful business people on earth have implemented their entire lives. So guys, what we are going to be doing is directly working with people in the community to allow this to happen. Now, I do want to say real quick, because I know I'm going to get a ton of questions. It's currently being set up right now. There's going to be a lot of information in the next couple of weeks if this is something you would be interested in. If you are interested, it's important to know that essentially right now we are working with institutional partners who have minimums to offer things like insurance on accounts and stuff like that multi-signature custody, everything you are going to expect from an institutional grade product, we want to be able to offer. And that requires minimum. So if you have less than $100,000 in digital assets, dollars in digital assets, then essentially you are going to be put on a waiting list so that you can actually get in once digital assets appreciate and create a relationship with the firm. But if you have more than that $100,000, we can already start that onboarding process. Now, guys, I really do believe this is going to be a product that is going to add tremendous amounts of benefit to this community. Not everyone really wants to be this financial professional and be navigating some of the complexities of how to maintain, store your wealth, and create more wealth. And if we can do that and actually bring together institutional grade partners in order to build a network of people looking to solve this problem, I believe it's going to be something that's going to offer a massive benefit to everyone out there. So guys, I just wanted to put that out there because I think a lot of people might see a video like this and while it gets them excited, it seems daunting right? They don't know how to go through the individual processes necessary to actually make this thing work because guys, there's no doubt about it. You can mess this up big time if you're not working with the right people, right? You need to have the proper accountants in place. You need to have the proper CPAs. You need to have the proper institutional partners. You need to have the proper banking partners. You need to make sure everything's in place. And that is exactly why we are looking to work with these partners for you guys in order to create an all-encompassing ecosystem that allows you to store your wealth, grow your wealth without creating one-time liquidity events that are going to have massive tax implications. Guys, whether or not this is something you are going to be looking to implement, whether or not you can work with us now or can work with us later down the road, I hope this video at least made you rethink maybe the strategy you might have in place right now, or at least ask questions of, hey, is there a better way to go about this? Hey, have I actually talked to a professional and gotten his opinion on what this strategy implies? Guys, I think there is going to be a massive amount of benefit to a lot of people sitting down with someone who understands the complexities of 
some of this stuff and just going over how their plan should really be put forth in an institutional grade way. Guys, I really hope this video at least get, got you thinking about some of these things in the future, at least got you to understand there are different ways out there to actually maintain and build wealth rather than just liquidating and helped you understand that the richest people on earth are putting forth strategies that we talked about in this video, not trying to flip in and out of digital assets, not trying to flip in and out of stocks, not trying to create massive tax events on their balance sheet. Instead, they're looking to do everything they can to pay as little taxes as possible, hold on to their assets and grow their wealth over time. Anyway, guys, I hope this video at least got you thinking about some of this stuff. Thank you so much for coming. I hope everyone has a great Memorial Day weekend. And for now, make a loud.